Holy shit, Tsukushima totally pulled a Hinata! Up Wedding Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Haikyuu chapter 321. So, last chapter we had the uh, Tsukushima versus Kuro rematch, which I was waiting for! I was, I waited all second set for it, and we didn't get it, and we finally got it. And, um... And something I gotta definitely mention, and because I don't think I, uh really talked about it last week is the difference between what we got in the first set and the um last chapter which is basically when Tsukushima went up against Kuro um the first time he was able to roast the shit out of Kuro he was in a good goddamn good mood and he did overcome that barrier of teamwork and um you know like not wanting to work with other people he was because he's a stubborn ass and um also like admitting to himself that he loves to play volleyball that volleyball is fun um in this chapter however in chapter 320 Tsukushima was more alone kind of thing he was isolated and um and fuck he was getting really pissed it, it, to the point where he couldn't even come up with the comeback against Kuro. And I love that Sawamura was like, you know, if you can't come up with the comeback, I could just punch him if you want. I was like, yeah, that's my boy. Um, but also I really love um, that uh, that Tsukushima was giving Kuro shit, but I want to know what the fuck, or not, uh, yeah, Tsukushima was giving Kuro shit, which was awesome, but I really want to know what Kuro said to Tsukushima about Bakoto. I really want to know that. But um, anyways, at the end of the chapter, um, basically, Tsukushima overcame his, um, that obstacle of not wanting to be Hinata, like, be Hinata, because he just was, he just didn't want to be like him, because he thought what Hinata does is really stupid, and he just fucking did Hinata's move in front of him, and it was glorious, but anyway, let's get to chapter 321 and see what happens next, and this chapter is titled Battle Between Beasts, Woo! the final set picks up the pace, okay, I gotta talk about this first page in general, um, something, and, before I do that, I gotta mention this too. Something that I've noticed a lot in uh, combat manga, um, that a lot of the mangakas are utilizing uh, the art to where it looks like a yin and yang kind of concept, which is really cool. But this contrast is a little bit different. Um, the contrast that we're getting here symbolizes what uh, Kuro said last chapter, where basically um, the intensity, the focus, and the concentration has like really just uh, stepped up. And it's like to the point where everyone's just, uh, all the players are not paying attention to their surroundings, uh, you know, like the, uh, the stadium and shit. They're just focused on the opponent in front of them and the game itself, which I really, really like. I like that uh, for Adade, kept up with the consistency on, on that. And there's my boy Kemba! There's, oh my god, oh my god, what's Kemba gonna do? Oh shit, here it goes. Ooh, ooh, I'm loving that it's switching from like the white um, background to the black for like Hinata and, um, uh, oh my god, and Nishinoya. It's like Nishinoya and uh, Hinata like are just like non-verbally communicating. It's really cool. Especially like in the next panel on page three, like in the far left corner, when you see Hinata do that little, uh, he tips the ball to, um, to Nishinoya and he's like, dude, you better get it. The speed of their own reflexes are working against them. Oh shit, it's working against them. Hold on a second. Oh, it missed, oh, he, um, Nishinoya missed it! Oh shit! The speed of their own reflexes are working against them. Anywhere from the top of my head to the tip, tips of my toes, my muscles as they are now can and will react in time. Then what happened? especially, um, you know, the chapters that were adapted um, in episode 27 of Captain Tsubasa 2018, which you guys need to watch because a lot of the shit that Data Productions is doing in Captain Tsubasa 2018, like, I'm talking about art style and, um, and well, techniques and shit. I want to see it in Haikyuu as well. So 
I'm hoping we get this in Haikyuu. But like what this is really reminding me of, especially uh, the angle, um, it reminds me of like when um, like either Wakashimizu or Wakabayashi, because it, it was with both of them, um, blocked the ball from getting into the goal. That's what, it, especially in that shot right there, or like this, uh, the right frame, or not the right frame, fuck, the right, top right panel. It just really is making me think of it, especially with that angle, with the, um, with how Kenma and Hinata and Lev are, uh, just watching, uh, Nishinoya. It's just fantastic. Everyone's just in goddamn shock right now. Holy shit. And Nishinoya scored because everyone was in goddamn shock. And the score is now 8 to 7. Um, you know, Karasano with 8, Nakoma with 7. Damn, what a miracle save! You can't lose yourself in the atmosphere of your surroundings. You've got to focus your eyes and think. See what I mean? You, I'm going to read this again because that was what uh, page 1 with the, black, uh, with the black panel or the black background um, basically symbolized. You can't lose yourself in the atmosphere of your surroundings. You've got to focus your eyes and think. I just, ooh. For Adate, I am digging this. Ooh, there we go. Nice one touch. I, oh my, did the receive overshoot by a bit just now? Come here. Oh! Here we go. No. Oh, now he missed it. So, um, so now we're, hold on. I want to make sure I missed something, didn't miss something here. Hold on a second. Where's, where did this second one come from? I'm just trying to see, because now it says the score is like 10 to 10. Like, where the fuck did it go? Where, where's the nine? Uh, whatever. The receive they, uh, that, sorry, the receive that veered towards the right just now was probably deliberate. I think they used the, um, the receive to induce the blockers to move. No matter how much the crowd gets hyped up or how tight the match gets, they're always so down to earth and calm. God, I hate that. Well, dude, they're calm because they're just so fucking focused. Oh, we got, oh, here we go. We got the, pin, we got, we got our pinch server coming in. Ooh, we got him coming in. Oh, shit. And I, and notice again, and this is on page uh, seven. Notice that, like, as soon as uh, Yamaguchi comes in to do the pinch serve. Uh, um, it, the screen, or, like, Sorry, I keep saying the fucking screen or frame. I shouldn't be saying that because I'm thinking I'm watching anime right now, I guess. I guess that's what my brain's thinking. But um, I'm talking about the uh, black uh, background of the panel itself and uh, sig uh, symbolizing the focus. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. One touch. Oh, no. Come. Just as I suspected, Suki's spike point um, is higher than before, even when the match enters the late game. Oh, shit! Yeah! My boy! Tsukushima! Again! Again with my boy Tsukushima! Yeah! I'm loving it. I'm loving that Tsukushima is surpassing his master. He's surpassing Kuro. And it's something that um, we're, uh, we are seeing in, um, in Kengen Ashura, actually. And I really am loving that, too. If you are not reading Kengen Ashura, which I'm going to cover... Um, uh, chapters 137 through 140, um, probably after Shokugeki uh, Soma comes out, and I record that shit, um, you guys need to read that manga. It is amazing. But anyway, oh my god. Yeah, so now it's 12 to 10. Um, sorry I overdid it. Oh, look at Yamaguchi and Tsukushima! And there's, a uh, um, Yamamoto, oh my god. Dude, Yamamoto scored! And dude, I love it! Yamamoto's like rocking out! He has the, he has the double rock out symbol. He's going like this. And like freaking... The look on Kemba's face is just so fucking priceless. I love Kemba so much. I'm still trying to find a Kemba plushie. I, I am. But I might get a Kemba jersey, uh, like a Kemba jersey instead and wear that when I um, record Heart Q or other just sports um, series in general. I might do that, actually. But dude, look at my boy, look at Kuro. So now it's 14 to 14. Oh shit. Here's Nishinori. Nice kill. So now here we go. So Tsukushima's serving. Then we got um, Azumane, Sawamura in the back, Kageyama, um, Tanaka, and Hina in the front. And then on the opposite side of the net, we got Haiba, 
um, uh, Kozume, aka my baby Kenma, and Fukunaga in the front. So I'm hoping for some like Hinata, Kageyama versus, uh, especially versus Kenma, and maybe even some Hinata versus Haiba because uh, Haiba's an asshole. And also, I need, I need some more, I need some, I need some Haiba Rose Tsukushima. Um, and in the back, we got Kuro rotating, um, with Yaku, um, Kai, and Yamamoto in the back. So, if there's Tanaka versus Yamamoto, um, uh, matchups here, that I, I would be down with that. I, I, like, fuck, I need that, actually. I know we got it in the second set, but I want more of it. Oh, shit. Oh. <gasps> Don't you lot dare hesitate when it comes to uh, dominating the slugfest itself. We will prove to you all what our true essence is. What? Even the backup center is going, uh, going in for the run-up? Is he going to hit it? What? Is he going to hit it? If it's Kersano we're talking about, I wouldn't rule out the possibility. Oh my god! It's the number one uh, from the backlight again. Fall back! Woo! They're still sticking to the no block strategy when it comes to Daichi's back attacks. Um, means I'm free to hit hit it wherever I please. So I like that something that I'm liking that we're getting here. Um, is we're getting the uh, um, Sugawara and um, Sab uh, Sabamura uh, combo going on here. Because remember, Sabamura is a setter as well. Or not Sabamura, Sugawara, <laughs> Sugawara is a setter himself. So, um, you know, prior to Kageyama coming in, he was starting setter. And then we got, you know, the Kageyama and Hinata and the Kageyama and Tsukushima uh, connection going on. And I'm really, really digging it. Ooh. Oh, no, we got the net! Eh. Holy shit. Dang, my attention was caught by Sugawara-san in that moment. Um, nice, nice, Daichi. He got us good. Does nothing ever phase those guys? That just now wasn't any old lucky shot, just so we're clear. That was a net and as a direct result of relentless attacking. Oh, I see. In a battle, to truly enjoy oneself, one needs to be strong. Oh, the kitty cat is getting subbed off for the pupper who joins the battle. You're being too hard to follow, Tendo. <laughs> Um, an all-out match. Next issue, a jumbo. <gasps> We're getting a 34 page chapter next week! Yes! 34 page chapter next week! Oh my god, this is the best fucking news I've gotten all day! Oh my god! 34 pages, motherfucker! Yeah! Um, uh, plus center co uh, color and chapter cover page. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ferdade! Okay, let me talk about this chapter and then, um, I'm gonna say what I want next, what I want to see in, hopefully we're going to see in, uh, the, um, next chapter, but let me just make sure I'm, okay. Um, so something that I'm hoping we're going to get is, uh, we're, well, this matchup is going to be really interesting. Um, uh, because basically what, uh, um, Nakoma's doing is they're basically copying us. That's what they're doing for real. Um, but, uh, something I really want to see in the next chapter is I kind of want to see, like, a, like, maybe, like, a, um, a Ferdade go into, like, the significance of, uh, Spiker or, um, something like that because, um, something that has been, uh, a commonality in the past couple of, ch in chapter 319 and 320 is Ferdotti talked about the significance of the um, the Libro and the um, and the and the blockers, in particular the mill blockers. So I'm just really curious if we're gonna get something like uh, for like, um, uh, oh my god, for the pinch uh, servers or not, which would be really awesome. Um, and I'm really curious. I like something else. I really want, even though yes, we did get great. Um, character development for um Yamamoto and uh and Tanaka's um and Tanaka's uh, rivalry uh of and what was it the second set I feel like Ferdotti can do more with it especially from uh Tanaka's point of view because remember the Tsukushima chapter we just got 
was from um, Tsukushima, mainly from Tsukushima's point of view. And I think the first the first matchup, if I remember correctly, and when it was Tsukushima versus Kuro, I think it was more from Kuro's perspective. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Was it, if it was because I think that's what it was. It was more from Kuro's perspective than um, Tsukushima. And like it was a little bit of both, but it was I think it was more from Kuro's perspective. Where as as I said, chapter 320 was more from Tsukushima's perspective. But something I really want to see is I definitely want to see. Um, more Lev versus uh, um, Nishinoya because of, you know, the setup that we got for it in Chapter 319. I definitely want to see, um, especially, I think it's going to really happen at the end of the set in particular when we get the Kema versus Hinata stuff. But, like, I really, really want, I want more. I want more... Uh, character development for um well Kema got a lot of character development recently but like I'm talking about like the bond uh between Hinata and Kema to show and you know to signif um to uh I keep saying significant but signif um signify but I mean symbolize basically to symbolize like how much they've changed similar to what we've gotten with Tsukushima um and Kuro uh I'm trying to think if there's any other things I want to see in here I really want to see some, I want, I really hope that Furudate keeps utilizing uh, the art like this and utilizing the panels the way um, that it was executed in this chapter because I really thought that was smart. I kind of think that Furudate could do a little bit more even um, with, uh, with the art itself. I'd love to see more. Also, for the love of God, Give me some more Bakoto commentary. Give me some, uh, or Bakoto roasting commentary, because I love, Bakoto's just awesome. And uh, give me some, um, what was the other one I was thinking? And give me some more Tsukushima roasting commentary. We haven't gotten, like, Tsukushima roasting commentary in forever, and I needs it. I needs the commentary. Um, but I feel like something that could happen last, or not last chapter, next chapter is, I feel, I, I said that, um, that Furudate might, uh, go into like the significance of the um, of the pinch server, and I think what uh, what um, Ferdotti could do with it, even though Yamaguchi's not in anymore, is I think like we could have like a reflection moment for Yamaguchi, and like have and then like have um, uh, uh, Nakoma's come in and you know say his piece. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I, that's what I'm thinking. Either that, like, what I'm thinking is, especially since Tsukushima is out and um, uh, Sugawara is in, is I'm thinking, like, Tsukushima and um, Yamaguchi are going to have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart kind of conversation. Uh, they're going to have a bro conversation um, next chapter to reflect on, you know, what's going on. That's what I kind of feel like that's the direction for Adati is going to go in, but I could be wrong. Um, but I'm really curious what you guys thought of this chapter. Um, like, compared to the other chapters, I will say this, uh, writing-wise, I mean, is I don't think the writing for this chapter was as good as, um, the writing, uh, has been since, especially the, uh, third set started. I think the, the writing kind of stepped down a little bit. And I'm hoping that's not because, uh, basically, Furudate sacrificed the quality of the writing to, um, like, turn up the quality of the art. But, um, oh, and the other thing I like, and I'm very curious what you guys think is, like, what do you guys think of the fact that we got the original um, combi, uh, Sugawara and uh, Sawamura doing shit? I really like that. that. I think that's awesome. I love that they're doing that. I think that's really, really awesome and really, really cool. And, um... And there was one other thing I wanted to mention here. Uh, oh, the other thing I'm thinking that could happen next chapter, if it's not going to be the pinch hitter, or like the significance of the pinch hitter, because there are three setters on the field. Like, I know Sugawara is um, not playing as setter right now, but he what before Kageyama came, he was a setter. I feel like Ferdade could do a really cool chapter about the significance of the setter, even though, yes, we did get a little bit of it in um, the second set in particular, but I really would love to see Ferdade do something like that with, um, 
with uh with Kageyama Kema and Sugawara. I really would love to see that and like go into like more detail on the significance of the setter. It, um that I'm really hoping for that, and I'm hoping we're going to get some Kageyama versus uh, um, Kema stuff because I really like when we had Battle of the Setters in the previous match. It was really goddamn cool. But anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. Do you guys agree with me that the writing kind of stepped down a little bit, uh, comp quality wise, compared to you know what we've gotten the past few weeks? And um, do you also agree that like with me that maybe uh, Ferdotti decided to sacrifice? uh the quality of writing um for um the quality of the art which i really really love and like maybe uh the, maybe for adade wants us to like visual or, like see this um try and figure out and this is why i like doing live reactions is to try and find like the the themes and the meanings behind um what uh for Dottie is trying to say with the with the panels themselves so i'm really curious what you guys think um I, let me know what you think is going to happen in the 34-page chapter next week. Uh, do you guys agree with me that we're going to get, like, a setter-focused chapter or a pinch hitter chapter? Or do you think we're going to get something else? Or do you think we're going to get both? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Friendly, and PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.